Hey there, here are the best toiletries that you are going to need for travel that are from Amazon. I'm going to show you all of the items that I travel with. I will show you skincare items from Amazon, travel essentials for the bathroom, for women. These toiletries are going to be solids as well as liquids, creams. But do not miss the fun travel tips and tricks that I'm going to give you throughout this whole video. The first toiletry item is one of my favorite new travel essentials from Amazon because it's so girly and top quality in my opinion that I would use every day as well as when I'm traveling. These help the water not run down your arms, especially in the winter when you're wearing a long sleeve pajama shirt. Here are my containers for liquid shampoo or lotion per se. I used to travel with the go-to brand, which are my absolute favorite. If you have super watery shampoo, or some kind of um, toner that you want to travel with. But these are from Sephora. They come in a set. These and these are super deep. So you can get like eight days worth of lotion. Gold Bond for Diabetics is my favorite. Um, down in these, it just depends on what you want. These are like contact solution containers. Um, they are are magnetic so you can stack them but the lid also connects to the base but they're really shallow if you can see that i just like how they smell or not smell <laughs> i like how they feel and how it's easy to line up the little corners for the octagon or heptagon shape and you know that it's sealed completely and they have little names and stickers on the top i think are cute see that's how they stack one travel tip when you are packing toiletries for a vacation is you do not need the entire container of makeup remover balm or um, Vaseline, let's say. Just decant the amount you need into a smaller container. And if I was taking this makeup remover, I would then be able to use something super shallow like that. Another travel essential from Amazon for your toiletry needs is this Q-tip container. I just think it's so cute. I do not travel with it because I don't need that many, but I do use it in my bathroom and my husband uses one. And it comes in a set of like eight or 16. So everybody got one last Christmas. One thing that I have always traveled with is this air ventilated toothbrush for travel from Amazon. It does not compress when I'm using it or scrubbing my teeth hard. And it does dry out very, easily. But this year, my husband has needed this travel essential for when you are at dinner and you're eating steak at night and it gets stuck between your teeth. You're going to scurry away to the restroom in the restaurant and have this in your wallet. And that way you're not packing a uh, hygienic floss stick in your wallet. It's individually wrapped, if that makes sense and they come in blue and pink. If you need to swap out your liquid toothpaste for toothpaste tablets per se, I would do this at the end of a very long flight just to refresh your mouth and wake you up for the day while you're waiting for your hotel and you're up to be ready again. But I would stick like two or four in a little tin, um, but these come in a little pack of 100. Here's my little tin that I have for the end of a flight. I can protect earrings in here, but I also have like my toothpaste tablets in there and they'll just slip into my little pouch for the airplane. These little bags are so fantastic. So many of you love those. Just skip over this part if you have them. For a long trip though, I would use them for my toothpaste tablets or like earrings at the end of a long flight. Um, and that way they are in my pouch, but they're not taking up a lot of room. A lot of people use these um, in their daily use purse because you get like a set of 35 of them. They're really, really soft to the touch. <laughs> You can pack your medicine in there. Um, I've got my AirPod replacement pieces in there and my tech bag. Just the sky's the limit, no pun intended. Here's another pouch that I love traveling with. It's easy to stick this in a crossbody bag purse if you need to keep euros in there or toilet paper if you're out in public touring or hiking or something like that. And they come in a set of four. One travel hack 
I don't want you to miss. I love Mary Kay's eye makeup remover. Just squirt your makeup remover onto cotton balls and then pack them in a little Ziploc baggie and that's going to stay moist for you to remove your makeup without having to pack it in your liquids bag. This is my favorite sunscreen to take like for my arms and my chest and my face, but it's really expensive. So Trader Joe's has one with the same ingredients um, that is much cheaper on Amazon, okay? And it is, it comes in the little 1.7 fluid ounce container if you need that. This liquids bag comes in a toiletry kit, and this is not sponsored this time by the Tripped brand on Amazon. They have also made the little toiletry kit that I travel with the most. It looks like a pouch, but it can bulge so much without taking up that much extra room. And then you also get a tube cube that I would keep like a hair ties in, something like that socks or undies or even your cords if you like to just throw them in. Here's another travel essential that I use every day is the sample size or the miniature size of the eyelash primer. It makes taking off your mascara so much easier. I don't know why. If I just use my regular mascara and then try to take it off, it doesn't come off all the way. I don't know how to explain it. It's Lancome. If you want to do laundry or you need to wash some exercise shorts or a couple of t-shirts, this is a little sink packet. It does count as a liquid because it has the Tide stuff in there. I am very sensitive to strong smells. I cannot even use Tide laundry, but these do not have a strong smell at all. And I can wash about four t-shirts in one sink or your bath tub but another tip is that you could use the hotel shampoo in the bathtub to wash some of your clothes here's a wipe and wipes do not count as liquid but I bought it because I have these in a box. Because they're in a box, I will use them and remember to pack them for travel instead of buying the Clorox wipes, individual wipes. Some airplanes are not giving them out anymore and it's antibacterial. For the tray table, seat belt buckle, do not forget the seat belt buckle. And then, um, your tray table and hook thing. For makeup, I bought this magnetized uh, little case just for travel, but I ended up using it with my everyday makeup. If you have the metal dishes from your favorite makeup, you can put it in there. They do make a longer one with a mirror, but I didn't need that because I can't see. <laughs> And when you are packing your makeup brushes, this is just something that I've had um, in another color and this one. It folds down, but it sits up on the bathroom counter so you can easily get to it. And then when you're done, it is easy to zip it back. Just in case you've never tried BK Beauty's brushes, I'm gonna make them pop up right down there. They are gorgeous and I put even my tallest one, like look how long that one is. See how long it is? I put that one in there and there's still plenty of room in here. I love this thing. And usually, uh, like it has the little slots for your brushes, but I don't even organize them that <laughs> uh, well, but I can also fit my deodorant stick in there. And it squishes a little bit, but it's also protective to me. BK Beauty always has their little travel brush container sold out, so I haven't bought that yet. If you've never tried the Body Glide, it is like a deodorant stick, anti-chafing stick that does not count as liquid for in between your legs if you're wearing a dress or a skirt or shorts. It works too and it's no odor. This travel essential is great for travel as well as your guest room. And I have some other th toiletry items for your guests. This looks like everyday kitchen sink sponge, but it is not. When you pull out the little soft cardstock looking little sponge, it is that thin, but it's not sharp around the edges, if that makes sense. And you just have to get it wet a little bit and it just, expands. I was very skeptical that it was going to be rough against my skin. How many of you have had those little washcloths that do not require soap? I feel like I have to rub my face 
off. <laughs> I have to press too hard with that. This, you can just use a bar of soap or your own cleanser. Like every little pore in here fills up with the soap or the cleanser. And it is so soft when you're rubbing it and washing your face at night or in the morning. And this is how thick they are when they do dry. I would have these in our guest room. They come in different colors. I just wanted blue so that you really can uh, see what they look like. One item while we're talking about this is this really lightweight luggage rack. It can hold up to a hundred pounds, okay, for your guest room or for yourself. And then another guest room item that I keep in my bathroom now is these little black washcloths. It just helps you not have to worry about stains when they're taking off um, their mascara. A lot of hotels have that washcloth on their sink and so I thought it was just a little guest room elevation look. I don't know if this is toiletry, but it was a NASA, it's used by astronauts, and it was a one of the top 10 gifts for people at Christmas time like four years ago or three years ago. I didn't even know it. I'd had them like a year, but they're kind of expensive. So this comes in like a set of 12, and they're just throwaway uh, little eyeglass cleaners, and they work just as good pretty much. Um, but I will have these in a different color in my everyday purse and then one for travel. Do not use these on sunglasses, okay? Because you can't like clean this, this off. Um, I would use a wipe if you're using sunglasses because your hands have sunscreen on them. This is now a travel essential for my toiletry kit and it is a liquid. It's a Tide to Go pen. And if you have a stain, one of our viewers recommended this because she's an ER nurse and it takes out blood. And on the advertisement, it says it will get out spaghetti sauce. So if you're traveling to Italy, make sure you pack that. Oh my goodness, I have to say this. It might still be sold out because we sold it out when I talked about this on Instagram. It is a bag that dries out your shampoo bar or your bar of soap if you're camping, but it also does not let the water leak out of it. It's magical. Our Lush store closed. That's where I get my shampoo bar, so I don't even know I haven't even tried their website yet, but that's where I get my shampoo bar. And it does have a strong smell, but it's for dry scalp and it works great on me when I travel and I, the smell does not get to me. Love this little bag. A major problem that a lot of my viewers have when packing in a carry-on suitcase only, like we have to as a pilot's family, flying standby most of the time, you have to know what if, like, what do I do with all of the things if I need to pack them? For toiletries specifically, I have a freebie, but it's something that you can ask yourself these certain questions to see, do I need to pack this? Is it essential for this trip or can I leave it at home and have more space in my carry-on suitcase? If you have to pack your toiletries in carry-on only, I have a great video that I will put up in the iCards for you that you can tap on later. You can find it in the description box. It's gonna show you how to maximize the space in only carry-on suitcase. I'm gonna teach you some tips and tricks in that video as well. All right, everything is going to be linked in the first comment and in the description box below every video. And any item that pops up down here throughout any of my videos is not spam. There are little links that I have found for you to help you shop while you're watching. It doesn't stop the video. All right, say hey if we have not met yet and thank you for your time.